Muslim Brothers is here in Neram Park, District 28. Two and a half storey, semi detached home, 2,400 square feet of land. <laughs> the view is really great because the distance away from another neighbour is really far apart. Marilyn Brothers is here in Neram Park, District 28 of the Salita Hills, Landed and Clave. We're going to check out this very beautiful two and a half storey, true corner, semi-detached home that is move-in condition under the $5 million mark. 2,400 square feet of land, 4,000 plus square feet of build-up space. And if you're looking for something that is in the most serene Landed and Clave that you can get, come along with Marilyn Brothers as we take you through our signature Landed home tour. So before heading into the unit itself, let's take a look at the vicinity that is just outside this property. So the roads are very wide and mostly they are dotted lines. So that means that you can have plenty of parking lots for your guests right along here, which is Saraka Road, and then even just outside your house. And along this side of the home, the owners also have done up some very beautiful Busida trees right along this border. And that brings a very nice greenery view. Let's go inside and take a look at the front porch. So as you're walking into this home, you can already notice that the owners have maintained this property in very, very good condition. Width of your frontage is about 9 odd meters, which is already very decent. So that means that you can easily park two cars right along your front porch. And right along this side, you've got four panels of shoe cabinet carpentry space that has been built. If you need a bit more carpentry space, then you can flush that right along this entire stretch of the wall. Now traditionally, semi-detached homes need to meet a minimum plot size of 2152 square feet and within this District 28 locale, you notice that there's quite a number of options for semi-detached home from the 2,000 odd square feet to even the 6,000 odd square feet in terms of the land size. But of course, the bigger in terms of the size that you go up, that creates a bit more disparity from the next class of landed properties, which are the corner terrace. So I think what that means for you is that basically you get to enjoy the class of a semi-detached home, yet at the same time, come in at an entry pricing that is challenging even the corner terrace asking prices. Let's take a look at some of the costings involved if you were to go for something of an older build and rebuild into your own style of home. Let's say you go for something that's of similar land size to this one over here, 2,000 odd square feet. Maybe your entry price is about 4 to 4.2 million dollars. Let's take about 350 to 400 PSF as a gauge for the rebuilding. You rebuild up to about 4,000 plus square feet of livable space. That brings your rebuilding cost to about 1.5 million dollars. Take into account another two years of rental as well as your temporary accommodation before your new home is ready. That brings our total calculations up to about 5.6 to 5.8 million dollars if you want to rebuild your own dream home. So before we take a look throughout the rest of this level one, let's talk a bit about the floor plan and what you have in terms of this property. So on level one, you have the front porch that can accommodate two cars, a very spacious living room and dining room, both wet and dry kitchens, a side yard, you have a common bedroom that can double up as a granny room, a common bathroom, as well as a home shelter. On level two, fantastic layout, you have three ensuite bedrooms and a family area as well. And on the top level, the attic level, that is where you're gonna have your fifth bedroom, which can optionally serve as a secondary entertainment zone with its open terrace that is overlooking the entire District 28 landed enclave. So coming up to this dining area, I think uh, the owners have kind of designed this to be very integrated together with the living room space and of course if you want to have a bit of separation between your entertainment zone and your dining area, then definitely you can do a bit of barriers or railings right along this side and that creates a nice entry point right from these two steps over here onto your dining zone. So right now it is fitted with an eight-seater kind of rectangular dining setup. And if you just kind of slide this open, I think during the evening time, that's gonna be 
very beautiful. You even have your own alfresco outdoor dining space over here already. And this is our side yard and this has been partially sheltered also, so it's protected from the weather. Very nice feature wall that has been done here. And I think this overall feel as we walk through the communal spaces, all the greenery and all the already adds to the very serene environment that you get in this lander enclave. Now let's head back in and check out the rest of level 1. Right behind here, that is where our dry kitchen is located at. Very good sized island counter over here for you to grab a quick breakfast before you head out. You can put in a mini fridge, bar fridge or a wine fridge on this side. Bosch oven has already been built in and installed over here. And then over on this side, you have a small sink. So I think this meets a lot of the requirements that you want in a dry kitchen. So right along this side, you'll notice four areas that has been tucked behind these panels. Number one, this one is your common bathroom that can serve as your guest. Very well maintained, decent size as well. So over on this side, this is where your home shelter is located at. So plenty of storage space behind this panel. This is where what we call the granny room or you can call it a common bedroom as well. Very, very decent size. You have your built-in carpentry already. This can easily fit up to even a king size plus its own kind of study table or dresser table. So dual access for this room, you have this door over here that leads out to your backyard windows for ventilation and lighting as well. So everything in this bedroom has already been catered for. The last one is a bit more storage space over here, which also is where your DB box is located at. And then right behind this door, that is where your wet kitchen is located at. Overall, very decent size. You have a U-shaped kind of countertop that the owners have done up in terms of the design. Lots of storage spaces for you to put your pots and pans. So right now, you can easily fit up to even two or three fridges right along this entire stretch of wall. And moving right out this door, that takes you to your backyard space, which is mainly used as a bit of a laundry area right now. And this links over on this side right to your side garden. So now let's head back inside and talk a bit more about the future proofing that this home provides. So let's talk a bit about the trends that we are starting to see in the landed market. Or of course, for landed properties these days, because of increasing land costs and maybe subdivision of land plots, newer built type of landed properties, they are starting to get a bit smaller in terms of the size. And so developers tend to build a bit more upwards, a bit more build up space, they do more levels on the property. And for this property right here, no necessity for a lift because as you have seen, there's already a bedroom and a fully functional bathroom right on level one itself. And this makes it very suitable for multi-generation families to live together because there is bedrooms and bathrooms at every level. The next one that we want to talk about is also the size of the bedrooms here. That brings us to our next point, which is having ensuite bedrooms versus common bedrooms. And I think it's very important to take note not just of the location and the surroundings that gives you privacy. Maybe you want to have privacy within the layer of your home as well. And I think ensuring that you have sufficient ensuite bedrooms is going to be an important factor to ensuring that if there's multi-generation families living together, this is definitely going to be a bonus point. And the last point that we want to talk about, which is very hard to achieve if you are looking for privacy, usually homes with a bit more privacy, they tend to have maybe a bit lesser in terms of lighting and ventilation to this home. But I think for this property itself, it meets both criteria of having that privacy that we talked about earlier on and having the very natural lighting and ventilation coming through the entire home. So three main reasons why buyers love this specific zoning within the District 28 Lander Enclave is because it is really a very serene and quiet environment and then of course the road width on the outside of your properties are wider and that means that it's safer for your kids as well and it contributes, adds on to the first point of a very quiet and peaceful environment. And last point is because of its connectivity, being very close to the CTE that takes you to town within 15 to 20 minutes and then in the other direction, you can go on ahead to the SLE or to TPE. Now let's hand it over to Adrian upstairs and he'll take you through level 2 and 3. This has been done up by owners a few years back and, and these are real solid wood and you can see it's in a pristine and mint condition. This staircase that leads you to level 3 has a floating kind of concept. Uh, this allows a lot of natural lights to flow right through from the top all the way to your level 1. Just 2 years back, owner has overlaid with this engineered flooring on this whole entire level 2 
and is very durable and is zero maintenance. This part of this house, you have a floor to ceiling, window panels that brings up the whole entire brightness of this level and the facing is south facing and you do not need to worry about the afternoon sun. The view is really great because the distance away from another neighbor is really far apart. This gives you added privacy. What you can do with this family space over here is you can literally bring up your main living hall up here into a second mini living room and you can put in I think probably a good two-seater or three-seater L-shaped sofa. Additionally, you can put in a TV console here and you can have a nice movie night together with your family. And pulling out from the URA master plan, you'll notice that we're situated in a two-story mixed standard zone. And what this means is that you get the full exclusivity and premium living in a landed enclave offers without any boutiques development or condominiums nearby. Zooming in, we are right in the corner of the interjunction between Niram Crescent and Saraka Road. And along this Niram Crescent stretch, there are only two pairs of semi Ds that are fronting towards this road, which means that you won't get much daily traffic along this stretch. Let's check out the first common bedroom we have over here. As you can see, it's a very practical kind of layout. It's all very squarish, regular floor plan. Currently now, it's fitted with a single bed. If you want to put in a king size bed, there's still enough uh, work space around. Study desk over here. We have a five huge uh, panel door of uh, wardrobe space, top cabinets and bottom cabinets for all your clothes. If you need more wardrobe space, you can also add on over here at this side of the room. This bathroom is using anti slip tiles, glass shower curtains, and the fitting used for the fittings is is of a renowned brand, Grohei, for the shower tap and also for the wash tap. So coming to the second common bedroom, this is an exact mirror image uh, from the first common bedroom. You have four panels, wardrobe space and single bed here with two sideboards. If you'd like to extend it with a queen bed, king bed, definitely not a problem at all. Bathroom is quite the exact configuration of the one that you've seen. Alright, let's head to the master junior. So this junior master is actually the second largest bedroom in this house. The room size is already very generous, currently fitted with a king bed two sideboard, two side lamp. There's so much workspace uh, you have in this bedroom itself. And this side leads to the balcony space. Stepping up, you have a nice cozy chair. You can really relax after hard day's work over here. Just right outside, junior master ensuite is where your designated L wardrobe is. Five panels, similarly you have the top and bottom cabinet trees and it's conveniently located just right outside the shower area for you to you know, have a good shower and change easily. And so this is of a similar setting with the other two bedrooms that you've seen. The only difference is that you have additional planter here just like a resort feel. If you were to look at the URA master plan, the land surrounding the Salita Aerospace Hub is marked as a reserve site. We think that this reserve site that will complement the entire business in the Salita area. And with the development of the Salita Regional Centre that will potentially draw new businesses and create new jobs, we can likely expect prices to climb in this area as well. There's also the development of the Pongo Digital District Prime to be completed in year 2024 to become the next generation of smart and integrated districts. And it not only house key growth industries in the digital economy but that will be a pivotal green lifestyle destination for the residents as well. Furthermore, with the upcoming Cross Island Line, you can expect two new MRT stations, Travistock and Shrangun North, to be built near to the Salita Hills Lander Enclave and both MRT stations are part of the Phase 1 construction which is expected to be completed in year 2030. And we can definitely expect greater convenience and accessibility as well. Now let's head to the attic level. So heading into the master room, what's interesting is the high ceiling you have over here that brings out the sheer space of this entire master bedroom. King size bed and you still have two huge sideboard over here with so much leg space you have in this bedroom. And you also have a study space, open shelf you can put in some of your trophies and also you do have close up storage space for you to put in your books, your files and it also comes with a bathroom on this uh, third level. It's the same concept as the one that we have shown you earlier. Let's head to open terrace. Over here you have a generous open terrace. Owner has also done up with an outdoor setting over here. You can literally uh, chill out during the night while enjoy the night view over here. So there's also so much greens you have. I think our owners have really green fingers. They really do take care of their plants pretty well. With this view, it's literally unobstructed. You can see all the way through this whole entire Salita Hill and Cliff. Mm -hmm. 
All right, since we are here overlooking at the area, why don't I share with you some of the amenities we have in this area. For primary schools within the area, we have Rosai School, Fernville Primary, St. Kang Green Primary, as well as Aukang Primary. And for secondary schools, we are just a short 10 minutes drive away from Nan Chao High School and Sing Ming Secondary. For tertiary institutions, we are just a short 10 minutes drive to Anderson JC as well as Nanyang Polytechnic. For shopping malls, F&Bs and supermarkets, we have Greenwich V which is a quick 2 minutes drive away. We are also a short 5 minutes drive away from the Salita Mall. Nirang Park is just a short walk from your house and over there there's fitness corner where you can do your exercise and stretching over there and also there's a children's playground for your kids to play during the evening. <laughs> So just to sum up, we are located in Serene District 28 in a two and a half storey semi-detached home that is in fully built up condition. 2,400 square feet of land, 4,000 plus square feet of built up space, five bedrooms, everything that you want in a landed property can be found in this home. The asking price is at $4.9 million under the very sweet $5 million mark. Yes, thank you for staying tuned with us and if you love this property, do remember to contact our listing managers and do like and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok channel. I'm Adrian Lim. Kevin Chan, Papa Tilly Brothers, always happy, happy to show the place. Thank you for staying. <laughs> and if you can just kind of. Whoa, oh, 101. Whoa. <laughs> Hey bro, I think uh, I need to do more bigger houses. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>